you guys out here at the pasture today. Thought I'd do a little bit of vlogging today. Uh, we're out here. We're going to be rotating the horses and cows into the next paddock. Uh, thankfully, um, I mean, we unfortunately got kind of delayed. We are actually getting our driveway put in for the, like the main driveway. And we opened up the fence and with all of the rain we've been having, the, uh, the shell rock pits have been just underwater. So unfortunately we could not get that going. So the fence has been open so we haven't been able to rotate the animals. But we have figured out a way that we can kind of block off that area while we wait and still be able to rotate them to the new grass because we really need to get them rotated to the new grass. Um, also thought we'd give you guys a little farm update as well. Uh, it's been a while since you guys have been out here, so you guys be seeing that around as well. So you might recall um, earlier on in the year we had our goats had babies and um, here is the two that we ended up keeping. Here is Sophie. Oh, don't stick your face through the fence. It's not hitting hot right now because the grass is really overgrown, but here is little Sophie and Waffle. They are doing really good. Um, we're actually getting ready to band little Waffle here shortly. We were just waiting for the cold to set in because you don't want uh, flies to uh, get around the site where the banding is happening in the long run. And off in the distance, separate from them, we've got a little fence set up with Mocha and Saffron. Mocha is bred. Um, I haven't confirmed it yet, but he has not been, he, he, he bred her, he, well, he did the deed, so to speak, and he has not done it since, and she's actually starting to round out a little bit, so I believe she would be, I gotta go back and look at the books, but she would be due, I think January, but, hi babies, see what, here's Saffron, hi Saffron, I know, he's still not cool with us, he's like, no, I don't, I'm just not really interested in Hey, boy. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. No, you can't eat my fingers. Hi, Mocha. Look at how good she's looking. That's a pretty girl. Yes. I see you cuties over there. Davis is uh, patching the tire on the lawnmower because we're going to get these guys rotated. So this is the current setup we got right now. We've got them set up in their own paddock with the chicken tractor, so they're separated. And then they've got their own paddock and they've got access to all this grass and things, everything they could possibly want to eat in their spare time. We're gonna rotate them and let them clear this overgrowth under the pine tree. So they're gonna be ran basically around this pine tree so that they can uh, start clearing a lot of this underbrush. So, you guys ready to get on some fresh grass? I know you're excited. Look at this. All of that thick grass. Yeah, it's going to be more than you guys could, you two little ones could eat by yourselves. As I was mentioning before, we've got the fence opened up currently um, as we are getting the driveway done. Backstory on that this has been a real uh, conundrum for us. We had opened the fence up. We had to open the fence up because we had the driveway started and done. And um, literally a day later, we had two days of just torrential rain. And this happened. Look at all that washout. So it was uh, kind of devastating to say the least. And it just kept happening because the rain wouldn't stop enough for them to be able to come in and fix it. So we lost a lot of dirt just to give you guys a perspective so here is our uh, future driveway our area's code requires I believe 34 feet wide culvert and then you have to cut the culvert out so it has to go like a slope from 34 feet at the top 36 feet at the bottom and the culverts came in 40 foot, so we decided, well, you know what? We're gonna be bringing trailers in and out. We might as well just go for the full 40 feet. So we'll cut, it'll be, I think it's a two to one slope ratio. So it'll be at the top uh, 38 feet and at the bottom 40 feet, and we'll have a nice wide driveway. But he's basically gonna be coming, our driveway guy is basically gonna be coming back in cleaning out the ditch that's washed out, try and save a lot of it, 
repack this and we open up the fence so he can go in and really grade it into the into the uh, property so we currently have the fence open up there and there so it'll be plenty wide for him to really just grade it out he's going to rip out these trees and just lay it out and then we'll have our driveway something uh, really interesting that we learned is that if you um, haven't now we're in Florida so I don't know how it applies in other states but in Florida in our particular area if you have an ag exemption or, or like the green card I guess they call it the I don't know exact there's so many different terms that you can use for it but if you are ag exempt on your property as far as taxes go and things like that um, you are not required to pay for the driveway permit and you are not required as long as you are not like once you put a house and you're getting the certificate of occupancy you do have to put a concrete apron on it but um, until that you do not have to put the concrete apron it can be a grass driveway um, so we're gonna do that and then when we come in and do our driveway we're gonna do it all one we'll do we still have to do the concrete apron but that'll be money that we can spend later on we don't have to do it right now so I'll keep you guys updated on that but thought that was a really cool piece of information that uh, maybe you didn't know because we didn't know and I was glad that I figured that I found that out because I asked always ask doesn't hurt to ask so there's a little Wellington in the distance over there we've separated him from Annabelle we've got Annabelle running by herself well not by herself but she's got Brutus with her but he's weaning but this is the paddock they've been running in for the last few months and uh, they've eaten it down so we need to get them moved so this is their old paddock and this is their new paddock so we got lots of really thick grass that they're going to be coming into uh, just a small paddock about to where those pine trees are straight to the fence because this is going to be the construction area when we start building so i want to let them graze this down because once that happens they can't be in here so we'll let them graze this down and then we'll still have a whole nother paddock for them for winter to have and then once they run out of this then they'll go back into the wetlands to let the whole front pasture rest for the winter so we got further along this year than we did last year on rotationally grazing so that they could have grass through the winter so let me see if you can get over close enough to wellington for you guys to see him hi wellington he is a very handsome little bull calf that annabelle and axel produced but we still have not handled him at all we've just been really really busy He's gonna get steered out here soon, actually. We're gonna have to corral him up and band him, and we'll show you guys that when we do that. I'm not gonna catch you, I'm not trying to pet you, I just wanna show you, show everyone you. Well, look at you. Oh my goodness. You went over to Axel, so him and Axel are together in this paddock, so they have, they can, they're buddied up, and Annabelle and Brutus are buddied up, so they're all separated. So Annabelle can start, uh, she's, we've dried her up, and now we're just letting her work on putting weight on for when she delivers, thinking. Axel, hi hey, handsome bud. If you don't work, if you remember earlier on in our vlog, we raised, <laughs> we raised uh, two bull calves and they were our first cows. And one of them we kept to be our bull. And this is Axel, this is the one we kept and he has proven to be the most docile of the bunch. He's actually been a very good bull. Gotten the job done very efficiently for three ladies so far. And uh, as long as he continues to be nice, we're gonna keep him. So far he's been a very gentle Jersey bull, which they have very bad rap. So we respect him, we keep our distance and uh, yeah. Wellington, I just want to show you to everyone. Can you say hi to everyone? No, you say no, I don't want to. Hi, Axel. I just want to show them your son. Hi, Wellington. Hi, handsome. He's like, no, I don't want anything to do with you. So, he is mama, all damn raised, and grass fed. Hi, buddy. Oh, I know. <laughs> so today we are going to be running the new fence to rotate the horses and cows to the new paddock, moving the goats and the chickens so that they can be on fresh grass and they're going to be a lot happier.
So we went ahead and moved, um, we swapped because Waffle is um, still yet not fixed. Um, we do need to band him, but we're still, I don't think it's cold enough yet. There's still flies out. We want to make sure that it is nice and cold just to prevent any risk of infection. So we went ahead and we swapped Mocha and Waffle. So Mocha is now running with Saffron and right, Waffle is now running with Saffron and Mocha is running with Sophie. So they're all together and <laughs> Saffron and Waffle have been uh, having a little fun with each other. It's actually kind of funny because Saffron's been like bouncing around and hopping around and it seems like they're even though they are kind of asserting dominance, he's being gentle with him in a sense. It's kind of sweet. And um, so fun. Sophie and Mocha are just kind of grazing, and just enjoying life. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, poultry fence moved around so we can get the goats rotated onto new grass and get them cleaning up the brush around the pine tree. Because uh, it's overgrown, as you can see. Enjoying your new area? 